Welcome back. Welcome back. Well, our next guest is a comedian who has been on all the shows. He's shaking all the hands. I love that line in the trailer. Conan, Kimmel, Letterman, and more. And back in 2017, released a documentary on The Simpsons, spurring a global, and I mean this, conversation about race and why, and that continues today. Here's a clip from The Problem with Apu. I hate Apu. I hate Apu. And, and because of that, I dislike The Simpsons. The whole series. Yeah. I love The Simpsons because... You hate yourself. My name is Hari Kondabolu. I've had a great career filled with laughter, critical acclaim. I should be completely happy. But there's still one man who haunts me. Apu Nahasa Pima Petalon. Please pay for your purchases and get out and come again. How many of you had to deal with being called Apu or that being referenced? The Simpsons, stereotypes, all races. The problem is we didn't have any other representation. Cabby, 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 deli, deli, deli. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor. You know that a white guy does the voice? Huh? A white guy doing an impression of a white guy making fun of my father. <laughs> how do you feel about that? Oh, I'm making a movie about how much I dislike it. Right away. <laughs> I love this so much. Please welcome to the show Hari Kondabulo, everybody. Oh, hello. I'm in Naples. How you doing, my friend? Doing well? I'm good, Jason. Thanks for having me. No, man, thank you for doing this. I love this documentary. And uh, there's so many lines that I, I, I wish this was a 10-minute conversation, but let's start with this. For people who are not aware, this started on a show about 10 years ago, right? Yes. This movement. Can you kind of explain how it started? I don't know if I'd call it a movement. It was a... Uh, a moment. <laughs> was let's a, call it a moment for you. A moment, it was definitely, yeah. It was definitely a moment. Um, it was a show called Totally Biased that uh, W. Kamau Bell had. This was on FX about a decade ago. And, uh, you know, I did a piece about South Asian representation and how far we've come. And I used Mindy Kaling's show as, like, kind of the, the news peg for it and, and how great it is that a South Asian woman has a show. And I went over the history of what it was like before this moment. And one of the big pieces of it was Apu from The Simpsons and how... That was the only form of representation we had, like nationally, maybe even globally as Indian Americans, um, you know, for, for like a decade. So it got a lot of laughs. And uh, I realized that people really loved that piece of that, you know, of that uh, monologue. And, and I kept hearing about that piece from that monologue. And it became clear that, you know, a documentary would be cool. People would be interested. Well, that's what struck me is the fact that um, I didn't even connect the dots as I'm consuming it. And I think that's part of the right. point of the documentary as I'm consuming it. And I, um, you know, I'm 47. So I I've been with The Simpsons since the beginning. I sure. was, you know, I didn't realize that, as you said in the documentary, look, The Simpsons pokes fun at all types of stere all types of stereotypes and all types of people, alcoholics and deadbeat dads. But this was different. And this is where I think there's a learning moment for the audience is this is different and it's not a product of oversensitivity. It's different because there wasn't any other Indian representation in pop culture except for this character voiced by a white dude. Yes. Yeah, I and mean, which which is strange, right? Like you you have a representation that you are literally not voicing. It's literally not your voice. It's it's voiced and written uh, by another group of people, and you have no say in the matter. And that group of people really doesn't know you very well. Um, and so that's you know that that's that's a big part of it. Like you know, imagine if all white representation was you. Some people would love it, Jason. Oh, oh God, no. Some oh. people would hate it. Yeah. Uh, but the, the idea that it's just you yeah. and only you, you know. Frightening. Uh, it's frightening and unfair. Yeah, very um, unfair. Well, you know, and you have this, there's a line in your stand-up, and I know it's part of the act, but this yeah. was another line that hit me, which was, if, if, the, if uh, um, oh, my God, why is, uh, Hank, if Hank Azaria... And listen to this audience, because this isn't a, this isn't being overly sensitive. If Hank Azaria did that impression in front of Hari at a bar, Hari says in his, you would smack the blank out of him. But why is it acceptable to do that very same impression on yeah. television for 30 bazillion seasons? That really that really right. struck me. 
Yeah, yeah, it, it is weird. Whenever they would do the live Simpsons readings and they'd have people on the, you know, the whole cast do them and everyone would be amazed, like, oh, that's the guy that does the voice. And, oh, wow, Julie Kavner really does sound like Marge. And, like, you know, all that stuff. Um, it was always weird when Hank Azaria did the voice of Apu. I'm like, we're okay with this. This isn't weird. None of you feel like uh, this is your childhood bully? Nobody? Yeah. Nobody else had this experience, you know. Um, and ultimately, you know, the documentary, it's about the Simpsons in so much as it's like a historical thing, because it's 30 years old, or at that point it was like 25 years old. It really kind of doesn't matter, you know? It's more about the progress we've made and the fact this thing still exists and what this says about where we, where we were well, um, and where we want to be, really, more than anything. And I think the, the, the where, where we are and where we were is so... Uh, beautifully kind of shown in the documentary. When you talk to your mom and dad, when you yeah. show your mom a scene of The Simpsons and your mom isn't as offended or isn't as bothered as you are, I found that fascinating. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense though. And I think she, she kind of clarifies in the, uh, in, in the piece, like to her, it's like, well, we're immigrants. Like we're here and we've gotten, you know, we're fortunate to be here. I mean, there's the, the gratitude that she has. And also their day to day was like incredibly difficult. Like they're just trying to make it in a new country. And she talks about it as if like, well, you're you were born here. This is your country. Like this is your birthright to be treated with respect. It's a shame that she like almost implies that like as immigrants, like, yeah, we, you know, we don't she expect respect. But even though it's probably fair, uh, considering how America treats immigrants. But like for for me, I'm like, you know, that was cool to hear. Like, no, you you deserve everything that every other person deserves. And, and yep, uh, absolutely. respect is a big part of that. Absolutely. And I love how she called out your hair, too. And that she your mom is I love I could watch a whole yeah, I could yeah. watch just a whole show about your mom. I got to tell you, your your family's fantastic. Well, I, I'm so excited, my friend. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for coming on the show. I think absolutely. I think you have really um, we've had two. our show's goofy, but we've had two kind of educational moments. And I and I just really appreciate your time. I, I appreciate that. I just want to let the audience know that I am a stand-up comedian who makes jokes. <laughs> and not just I know. We a got... documentary filmmaker that likes to kill cartoons. I know. So I, to... I was going to say, I was gonna, I was going to end with that, Harik, because I, I didn't want the audience to think that you're this uber serious, like you're working right. for Vanity Fair. He is a comedian, y'all. He is a comedian. Yeah. Yeah. Notable killjoy, Harik Kondabolu. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Give it up for hurry, everybody. Catch them Saturday night at the Cedar Cultural Center. Tickets are available at first-avenue.com. And he also comes from, he says, he goes, he doesn't hate The Simpsons. So it's a great, it's like a 49-minute watch. Go see it on HBO Max. We're going to take a break. We'll be back right after this. Great, great conversation.